Today I'm going to talk to you about using masking fluid with your lettering and watercolor to create a really cool effect. Masking fluid is basically almost, it feels like a glue that you put on the paper and what it does is it protects that part of the paper. So if you're a watercolor artist, sometimes this is helpful if you're doing a bunch of greenery but you wanna leave a couple little spots where there will be colorful flowers because with watercolor, you can't just layer on top with another color, it won't show up. So this is really helpful for that. But today I'm showing you how to use it with your lettering. So for this little tutorial course thing, you are going to need masking fluid, you're going to need um, a paintbrush. I have a size 16 because I'm doing a wash, but you could even use a size six and be fine. And then you'll need a pencil because you're gonna be writing and a small paintbrush for the masking fluid. One thing to note about the masking fluid, once it goes on your paintbrush, it's extremely difficult to get off. I highly recommend buying some of those silicone brushes um, if you're worried about ruining your brushes, I have a bunch of extra brushes that I used to use for classes at my in my studio, so it's not a big deal to me to ruin a brush. But some there's a lot of different ways that people say you can save your brush. Some people say put Vaseline all over it before you use the masking fluid, and then it just comes off because this is really sticky. It becomes really tacky, and it sticks to the bristles. Other people clean them with like a tiny razor blade, which I don't know who has time for that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> or another thing is dishwasher soap. Somebody said dipping it in dishwasher soap before you use the masking fluid is helpful. I just want you to know, please, please, please don't use your best brushes with this unless you have a method on, or a method to clean it off because it can get really sticky and be almost impossible to get off of your brushes. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna write my lettering on here. On um, This is a piece of watercolor paper. So I'm gonna say hello, just something simple. And don't worry about your pencil marks. You do wanna kinda keep them light. This is a little dark because I want it to show up in the video. But you'll be able to erase this because once you remove the masking fluid, it'll just be back to the regular paper. And then I like to just come in here and darken my downlines. So I'm doing, or sorry, thicken my downlines. I'm just doing basic calligraphy here. All right, so now it's time for our masking fluid. Make sure you shake it up really, really well. And oh my gosh, that was the easiest this lid has ever come off before. <laughs> I like to pour out a little bit. I mean, you shouldn't use a piece of paper. You should use something like a bowl or something, but pour out a little bit and then, oh, it stinks. I don't know why the, this stuff smells so bad, but it does. <laughs> it's like rubber, okay? And then you're just gonna go over your lettering with the paintbrush with the masking fluid and you'll be able to see it it looks really yellow and make sure you cover up your pencil marks otherwise you're not going to be able to erase them and the masking fluid dries pretty quick you'll notice if you go back over the top of it like if i went back here it's starting to pull up the masking fluid because it's already drying so that's one good thing is it dries pretty quickly so as you can see just going over the lines and I'm trying to hold my phone and paint at the same time so this isn't going to be as perfect as I want it to be but just know that if you really take your time with this and with practice you'll be able to paint on these pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna let this dry for just a couple minutes, I would say five minutes and you should be good to go. Okay. Now that we're pretty dry, it kind of feels sticky and waxy, that's how it should feel. 
What you're gonna do is grab a color. So I'm gonna do this bluish color today. And you wanna create a wash, so watercolor paint with a good amount of water. And you guys can get as fancy with this as you want. I'm just showing you a really simple way to do this, but you can you can um, put a wash over this entire piece of paper. I'm just gonna do it over the lettering so you can see. So the masking fluid will resist the paint and it'll resist the water because it's like a waxy kind of feeling. And you do want to make it not super dark, but dark enough that white would show up against it. If you were doing something that was just like that super, super light, it would be hard to see. So I'm just going to do this little blah. And then I want to come in here and just do some extra little splots of color. Can make it look really cool. Dun, dun, dun. And again, we're gonna have to wait for this to dry. Since it's watercolor, uh, typically I would say about 10 minutes for it to dry. All right, our watercolor paint is dry. And something I forgot to mention to you is when you paint, when you do a wash on watercolor paper, you really wanna tape your paper down to the surface that you're working on. Otherwise the paper can warp and you don't want that. Okay, so here we are, we have dry paint. Remember it needs to be dry. And then this masking fluid right here, I'm literally just gonna kind of roll it up and it starts coming off. It's really cool. Make sure your hands are clean and make sure you didn't just put lotion all over your hands, otherwise you're gonna make spots on your pretty paper. Okay, <laughs> that's it. The masking tape is off. And you can see I missed a little spot right here, um, but that's okay, I still like it. Then I'm gonna take my eraser because remember, we totally covered up this paper right here and our pencil lines. So I'm gonna be able to erase my pencil lines and get a really nice clean white lettering. And there you have it. I erased all my pencil lines. This is what it looks like, the finished product. You could do this. I really recommend using watercolor paper if you're gonna do watercolor wash, otherwise it's just not gonna turn out for you very well. Um, but yes, watercolor paper, I used this paper here. I got it at Michael's. This one works pretty well. Um, and the masking fluid I got at Michael's as well, but I'll put links in the info section underneath this tutorial if you want to get those items. Really simple, easy way to make your lettering look really cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.